So it's a beautiful morning leaving the Hope Valley. Climbing up towards Stiper Stones here. Can't see them yet, but we can see the beautiful blue skies. Crystal clear morning. Cold one though. Not a bad place to live, not bad at all. We made it. Still some way to go to the top. All the way up there. You can see this gravelly area that I've stood on. The gorse and the heather isn't growing here, nor is the grass. This is the remains of lead mining. It's a spoil heap. But the heather over here that you can see growing between the two bear patches is very interesting. It was lead mining that took place in these hills. And one of the byproducts, one of the offshoots as it were, is arsenic. And that stops the regular growing of plants. But this heather has developed a very useful little technique by which the arsenic that comes up through its roots is forced to the edges of the plant. And if you look closely, you can see there's green bits down there, and then these dead bits on the end. And the arsenic is forced to the edges of the plant, to the dead bits here, and eventually they break off and die. Oops. So this little bit of plant here contains a high level of arsenic and it's designed just to die, which allows the rest of the plant to grow. So we've made it onto the ridge line now. Got views over the Shropshire Plains to the north. Coming round to the west, the ridge line grows in the distance. It's the Welsh Hills, looking out over to the Berwyn Mountains. Vale of Montgomery in the foreground. The visibility is crystal clear today. The ridge line there is the Aran Hills near Bala. And coming round in the far distance centre shot is Cader Idris, 80 kilometres from here. From west towards south, Corndon Hill. And where I'm going, the tours of Stiperstone, the Devil's Chair, is that one. To the left, centre shot now, the trick point on top. The Recon again. And to the east, Long Mend.
to the high point of the walk here. there. East to south. You can see the old seed field there. To Bradenshire. And a constant companion particular walk is Corndon and as we saw before hills to the west in Wales. Time to turn off. So looking back to Stiper Stones now, came all over that ridge and then down that side and in over these lush green fields. Heathmend, Mucklewick Hill, Horndon poking up. And Gravel Hill, which is where I'm going. Well, this is called Shelve Pool. Pretty gorgeous. So that's where I was. Come all across there. Got that little track you can see in the foreground. the heaving bulk of Corndon Hill and White Grit, the little settlement in its shadow. And I've just come up this spur here. There's a fort on that hill. And then looking out into Wales. I came awfully close to Wales. I'm not supposed to go there today. They're still in lockdown. But the views are tremendous. So this knoll is known as Bromlow Callow, locally called the Callow. It's distinctive for those trees on top of it. And it was used as a navigation point when folk were bringing their animals to market in Shrewsbury from the hills further away. And there are the hills further away. So we're nearly back now. Seven and a half hours after setting out, looking over there to Stiper Stones and the trees in the foreground. I'm about to go into that wood, that's Hope Valley Nature Reserve, and the car's parked at the bottom of the valley, in between where I am and where those hills are. It's been a beautiful day. <laughs> 